I don't know, buddy. I'll get back to what I sincerely hope is the final part of Super Saiyan Evil. But we'll see. Last time I did the secret levels. Two of them were terrible. The third one, despite I'm pretty sure taking the longest of the three, was also easily my favorite. So, I'm going to read how that works out. Fire Palace. Hi, there's smiling balls of doom. I haven't seen you since the beginning of this world. Yeah, this reminds me a lot of that particular puzzle from Mario Sunshine. You played the game, you know the one. I think I have a lot of problem involving Super Mario Sunshine, so... Mm. Oh, you're so thick. Okay, uh... Let me just skip over like this. Oh, I absolutely can. I failed at that time, but you absolutely 100% the Mundo can. Like so, which means you can do the exact same thing on this side. I could play the level monster. That would be horrible. So, no. Okay, I'll play it normally again. Okay, I'll go back to not playing it normally again. I'm kind of telling when it's easier to break the level than just play it as intended. the Xbox controller. Like, I love the single pieces, but it, it's got some quirks that they still need to work out. Not that I say, like, the PlayStation controller, especially PS5, but what happened. The... Uh-oh. Definitely not developer intended, but considering all the time I saved from uh, skipping things, it's probably at least breaking even. So, uh, oh, raspberry! No, sure, I'll play this part normal just so I can get the raspberry. Good enough. Now I have to jump. Even when I've been punished repeatedly in this world for doing that exact action. Sure, fuck it. Open, oh, we're back to position platforming, uh, of course. Can't go too long without that. I mean, at least it's not the entire level, because I skipped it. do is fall back down there. Hmm. This is your own small winding path that is no thicker than the precision secret level. If you're wondering, that's why I um, wouldn't have worked anyway. But... You have to play this work straight. Really? <laughs> Oh, 
No, now I'll have to go through at least this part. Because of that it's a double angle. You already can jump over. Again, bounce. Made it. Uh oh. It's not as nice as it could be. Probably didn't want to bother programming those rolling enemies to go across these. Oops. Should have held my tongue. My own fault, really. Can I just jump across this? Ben looks like I can. Of course I can! I already had the raspberry, so why not? I don't have to look at anything else. I can't even land. I suppose I guarantee you, but that's not a sequence break issue. The same thing would happen if I was trying to play legitimately. If anything, it's more likely to happen that way. I have a sliver of hope doing it this way. I really feel that the developers are just getting tired by World War. I mean, how many just simple things they did to try to artificially add difficulty. Like the one pixel blocks that work as platforms. Wouldn't be surprised if I found a dev exit in this world. That's, that's how little faith I have in it. I it before. I know it's doable. Oh, that, that would have made it. I, I had a white line. It's very brief, but it was there. Really not developer intended, but you know, it's still better than the alternative. I'm not gonna make it up. Oh, it's a split second. I'm not a task bot. We need a split second to make one of these. It's also why I keep sticking my tongue out, even when there's no lines, because I'm hoping it will show up by the time I get my finger over to the button. Because I can't react that fast. It's too low. Can't stop or else I'll lose all my horizontal movement. This one went good. Then three fireballs in a row, four in a row, five in a row. Six in a row, seven in a row. Yeah, this is good game design. So somebody probably thought that. So bad I'm probably close to the end of the game. Explain that one. Humor it. What if I actually tried playing the game as they intended for once? Like going to snail space and around all these platforms and jumping like a maniac. 
It's obviously slower, but... It is easier to dodge them. I will give you that. Oh. Oh, okay. Please be Nestless. It wasn't. I have to go back. Well, back to one of the most painful stages so far, again! Beginning! The only positive to it is I don't have to the raspberry. I know I could do a skip there, but I'd have to give up a checkpoint. That is beyond reckless. Just for this, that checkpoint would have saved me like, what, like five second stops? This game told me what the time required was for the next rank. Like plenty of games do that. I'm actually kind of surprised Super Saiyan doesn't. And back we go. Did all those skips and still only hit a standard S really scares me because it means they might actually intend on you doing that crazy jump. See though. Again. I was thinking around support. I just stood up long out of time. I'm not going to react. It's there on me every time. You there, got it that time. Often. Why easy drop shadow? Question. In fact, my biggest thing in this game was it being a Mario clone. Of course, it's not a Mario clone. It's difficult. And it's not like Dark Side of the Moon or any of that other nonsense. I'm sure the jumping method is possible. I had a surefire way to dodge the fireballs. It's not viable. So follow me. I think I saw it explode. That was just by the back of the camera, so it's hard to tell. It was a little faster, I think. It was not Christmas. Okay, let's go. All right, the Molten Sea, 415, Tower Cast 4. So, just simply, oh god. An achievement for all of the uh, the keys in the game, but not for all of the raspberries. So 
I'm very suspicious. I think this might be the first level I can't cheese. Wait, wait, never mind. No, I totally can. I think the fact that that's right there, I can definitely cheese it. There's no keys or raspberries in these levels. I don't even have to bother looking. It's great. Okay, I have to wait. To There's no time in the stage. You know what? Now, nope. guess what? We're doing it one more time. I barely used this tour before, and ever since I went to the last world, I've been using it non-stop and for the same thing every time. Never did end up using that compass. Didn't actually need it, even though there's a couple stages I really should have used it. You'll never learn! Never! There's an owl in this one. Okay. The stage cleared. There's my S plus. Let's go. Oh, yeah, final showdown. There we go. Hey, monkey. Seen enough of you and your beautiful statues around. You've definitely made me work for it. 300 seconds? That's five minutes. They expect this to go on for a while. If I need the time stopper in this level, I'm in trouble. Be doing. None of these attacks look reflectable, for lack of a better term. Oh, you can now see where I'm going. The camera's fixed in this level, by the way. Like it is in all the boss stages, so. Nothing I can do. So you can jump off the tentacles, but I don't think that's the intention. You can try it. Too much. You're never supposed to be able to reach any of them. That's the missile attack again. My biggest enemy, this boss, is the camera, I swear. Oh, there's a ladder on your back. That's gonna be relevant. This one looks like a ladder, I don't know. Maybe it's just supposed to be a detail to say, hey, this is how the monkey gets in there. Oh, 
none of these attacks really seem... Is this supposed to outlast these same attacks every time? I think it's unlocked. Like, I don't get this one. The other bosses have been clearly telegraphed what you're supposed to do. This one hasn't. You, like, turn these off by destroying them or something? Oh, no, of course not. There's no collision. Well, there is. It's just weird collision. No, there's no collision. I was right the first time. But they just pushed my model out. And I fell in the lava. Missile attack is the only one that looks even remotely like I can do anything because of that. Pinnacle Fall. There's no way that seems to have been method. There's something else. It's too fast. Get this. Not in the funny, clever way, not in the... I'm not sure if there is an actual method to this. So there's only three attacks that really seem to spam over and over. There's the purple doom beam, there's the tentacle attack, and there's the missiles. The, uh, I guess the arena, if that counts as a fourth. It just uses those three over and over again. That was in particular. them? Missile attack still seems the most suspect, but. Barely. Mm. If I die again, I'm just gonna. Offspring, some grinding at this. Sort of. I at least want to get a hit on it. Yeah, okay, I'll be right back. I might have an idea. I was actually starting to suspect this, right? But it's actually not the missiles, if he is right. Yeah, it's this attack. You want it to attack these flamethrower things? That's definitely it. Realize I was up. Not again. Okay, give me tentacle. That is not tentacle. No, screw it. I haven't landed a hit, I don't care. Okay, so this the random chance every time for uh... I left too big of a gap anyway. I know this is a weird one, but then again, for me, maybe it isn't. Oh, definitely it. <laughs> because your attacks are longer now. I couldn't recover fast enough. I guess that's why they give you so much time here, too. Because it's randomized. They don't know what it's going to do. Theoretically, you get four tentacles in a row, I think. Unless there's some hard scripting preventing that. Yeah. 
Don't know if you know fun. Spoiler for the end of the review. Or LP end of the LP when I give the review. Like half it's gonna be remove stun lock. Pixels. That's tentacle time. Missiles. Nope, oh, that's laser beam. This time. Okay. Even the final boss, like, my true final boss is the stun lock in the camera. Am I even remotely surprised? No. Seriously, I'm losing way more often to those two things than I am to any of the actual attacks. Missile or is it a tentacle? It's missile. Okay, run. Come on over here. Okay, I recovered it. It's two tentacles down. This is all of the missiles. Okay. Oh. You're already doing it. Okay. It's three down. This isn't a particularly hard one, thankfully. It does get faster, though. Really, missiles. That is, like, the last one I wanted. <laughs> Okay, that was it. <laughs> she even unlocked a wicked end. And it just has a bruised monkey. Albert's saving and all these machines have been defeated by Sammy at last. Albert won't be causing any more trouble anytime soon. Now that Vera is finally free, she and Sammy are overjoyed to be reunited again. They dance and laugh until Aruba comes to find them. Yes, it is time to head home. Who knows what the future has in store for them. But they do know that so whatever happens, they'll face it together. Okay, cute ending, but uh, we're still wondering where the monkey wins. Because clearly that's the canon one. Okay, well, game's over. Well, Final thoughts, I don't even know if I need to spell it out at this point, but I will anyway. First off, this game desperately needed a different health system. Like, how it worked in this game is basically you were invincible, but you would get stunned by virtually anything and you could barely control yourself. It was the most frustrating thing imaginable. Like, I, I would have rather been hidden than that kind of a death more often than not. I think that kind of system worked in the first world, where the levels were more open, but once they started condensing them down, it started getting really, really obnoxious. Secondly, as well, camera, platformer. Platformers often have bad cameras, but... Mm. This one's, uh... This one's rough. Where is quest mode unlocked? Okay, there's the legendary thing. Keep it unlocked. That's a wrap. So yeah, Vera's quest is essentially New Game Plus, as far as I am aware. Game saves automatically from time to time. Like, uh, 
I'll check out a little bit of it. I am curious how much stays the same. There's no owl. Wait, no, this is a totally different level. Oh, am I not done? I wasn't planning on covering this, but uh. Jump in the X? Oh, this is the replacement to the tongue. You don't have a tongue as bear. Not sure how I feel about that one. Even unlocked High Flyer! No ranking! There's no rank? I'm gonna go through it again just to be sure. I don't wanna jump the gun on it. Like, that would be like the best new spots, because like, there's no timer either. Like, maybe they will do various quests and this is what it's gonna be like. Now, like, they keep track of your time and show you a new record, but they don't have a rank. Basically, what I'm saying is it's perfect. Okay, this level, I think, is the same as for. I don't see any raspberries around either. I reckon I thought this is hard. No, like, this is trivial in comparison to the crap I've gone through. It's liking the one a lot too, so I'm not gonna jump the gun on anything. But uh I'm definitely having more fun here than I have been for a while. Amazing what like just getting rid of the raspberries and the ranks does to this game. Like I I just have to finish. That's it. It's like what the game should have been in the first place. And honestly, like the raspberry, I think, is harmless enough. It's the rankings that killed the game it's so hard for me. Like, that's what forced the optimizations. Read it. I was worried about getting the right rank, then it's like, oh yeah, I don't have to care. Like, honestly, like, if this is what it's gonna be like, then yeah, sign me up! This was the first level I actually kind of struggled on, wasn't it? Oh my god, this is the first level that I couldn't find the raspberry on. That was it. I don't think the S-plus is actually that hard. It's more of this. I'm actually starting to kind of like the game again. That's a good sign. Uh, where... There's the owl. Oh, I guess Goliath over there. Hi, how you doing? Yeah, you ever wonder why they didn't give Sammy that ability? That's a lie. <laughs> oh no. You know, like I was curious because like the first level was totally different, but I heard the level seems to be a copy paste of Sammy stages, which are clearly built around him. So. Yeah! It'd be very easily broken. I guess this is why they don't have rankings. But, tongue course. Oh, what is. Uh, it's just. 
Princess Spring. Mode Vera. Oh, so y you can't change your difficulty here. Oh, no, that's just trying to show. It shows that you can keep your glide going, which... Okay. Okay, this one feels like it's a unique course for Vera. It's uh, too difficult not to be. Or rather, it would be really hard for saving, I should say. It's moderately challenging as Vera, but it's got nothing on the World 3 and 4 stuff. Like, that's what I'm curious about. Am I curious enough to go through the entire game? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm curious to go back and the same using clean up a few achievements there, but most of them are just like cosmetic stuff. Things that don't really matter. Uh oh. Hit the wall. Those seem to be good senses. Here's your camera to send me auto, I think I need it here. They know, that's just making it confusing. I'm still doing the ground pound. That is good to know. level that's actually a bit difficult. I think back to what I said before. It's not three and four hard still, but it's this turn right here, it's curved so hard. Because what the um I'm not tapping the button. That's just what it's doing. Or is this a bug? I can't tell. This is the best I've done so far. This one's gonna make it. Okay. Get me out of here. I think I ever want to try again on this stage. Well, keep going, Blissful Sunset Breeze. I assumed the red would be the further one out. I was wrong. It's so nice not having to look for stuff. Like, I know I already said that, but it, it bears repeating. Standing around collecting coins again. Like, I stopped doing that in most situations because, like, the time loss wasn't worth it. It'd be like, yeah, the in-game timer would get a little more time, but you wouldn't get more time on the timer that actually matters. Yeah, the one that gives you the S plus rank. See, these get stupid. I think I gotta play this one straight. There's just not enough coins. It's over here. Maybe it's because I missed that one random coin. <laughs> like, oh no, you don't get coins for that.
Those are still dumb, no matter what. Well, the points this time, there's still nothing here, so now this area is just a dead zone. This game's actually well designed, it's actually pretty fun. It's just the second it stops being that. <laughs> Yeah, now nah, I can jump past this. You can even jump past that, it's Amy. Dumb. There's something special about that. Oh! Playground? Paying them my surroundings, what I need to do there. I know what the level's designed for you to do. You're supposed to do the tongue whip thing, but that's honestly not an option, so. Okay, I guess you do it like that. Let's glide over there, right? Oh, yeah. Made it. I was aside from that, a uh, 1-7, none of these have been particularly hard yet. Mind you, it is World 1, but still. You would think that, like, since this is technically a new game plus, they would throw some more uh, obstacles in your path. Hey, can I just break this one in half? Because, yeah, like, yeah, it was right there. And the answer is yes. Three seconds. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, that's so cathartic. It's not gonna work as easily this time because I need to, uh, take some height. Just like put on the far side of the course. Maybe naturally. Oh, this part of the level I think was redesigned a little bit. Because I, I don't think Sammy would have made that. Like, it is interesting, like, they did redesign a few things, but not a lot, and it's actually kind of nice. Maybe I will go through the whole game again. <laughs> Screw it. I've already gone through 14 levels, why not? would be a pure jump of faith if I didn't already know there was more level over there. There's the owl. Okay. Tower of Chaos! Wait, I'll call the part after this. Uh, a lot of fun breaking. Ultim still doesn't have the best functionality. Since I no longer have to care about a rank, I as well just do a dub intended. Let's check this stuff. We'll say. It's the first jump I really feel like, yeah, that's, uh, they did not design that around there at all. Good thing I, I can skip it! I know what I was just saying, but, uh, that part also was clearly not designed or in move moveset, so I don't feel too bad about it. These levels are weird. Because I first thought it was backwards. And yes, I only am just now noticing if 
That is how it works. It's been a while since I've been through World 1, okay? We're still get a checkpoint with the bosses, or am I out of luck for those? Oh no, they just give you a bunch of time. I put the roof over the car! It's like, of course. It's very, you would be able to just easily glide up and then there you go. They wouldn't be able to stop you. Come on, monkey albert. I miss that with the camera. And again, the flexible camera isn't even all that flexible. Stop like that! Did I hit you again now? I said, like, I hit you with two missiles, that should count for double damage or something. There we go. Give me not! Fresh grass fields clear! Well, thank you all for watching! I suppose next time I'm gonna keep going with the Vera story! Look, if I can break stuff in half, I, I don't really mind how hard it gets. It's honestly what made like the last chunk of the main game remotely bearable. So yeah, I'll see you all next time, surprisingly! I was ready to say I had no intention of playing through it, but... Here I am. So until next time, take care, stay safe, have a good one. Bye bye.